Welcome back, man, to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, back with another video. And today we got some major, major news. This is what the people been waiting for. Everybody been asking and just flooding DeFi candles and saying, when is PVE, PVP coming out? The, a lot of people love the ecosystem just because they don't understand how games are made, man. You got to understand these games take time to come out. If you play any game, if you know what it takes to actually bring that game to fruition, to an actual game that you're playing, you will know that these studios, it takes years to play. But I say this to say this. DeFi Kingdoms PvP Combat Testing Grounds is now live. So this is pre-alpha. So we're going to go over some things. We're going to read, you know, the article, some things, uh, key things that I saw that were important. And also, we might even do a little tweaking and playing around with the interface of the combat testing. Now I'm gonna make another video, you know, going more in depth once I actually play it because this is my first time literally going on the combat testing ground. So we're experiencing this together, but I'm gonna do a little, you know, ins and outs, but not too much. But I just really wanna go over the article that they just dropped, just explaining that this is pre-alpha and you shouldn't expect this to be the end result. But before we go too deep into it, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. We're going up just like this. I'm telling you, DeFi Kingdoms is one of those games you want to really get into in the bear market. Right now, price is still at 20 cents, but I'm telling you, once we hit full-on bull market, once PvE fully drops, once PvP fully drops, we will see more players into the game, and those prices are going to skyrocket, especially for Jewel. And I'm going to let you know why I believe you know, more Jewel will be locked up. So let's get straight into it, but I also got to let you know, too, I am not a financial advisor whatsoever, so before going too deep into the crypto space, make sure you consult with the financial advisor because this space is volatile so you want to know you know kind of what you're doing what you're getting into and we got to know these cycles occur every four years so we know in 2021 we were getting ready for it or 2020 we were getting ready for that bull run in 2020 going into 2021 and 2024 is going to be that year we get back into that bull market and that is just our past experiences now things might differ just a little bit but i believe in 2024 we will go into a bull market and DeFi kingdoms will be one of those projects you want to look at but enough of that small talk let's get straight into it what are we talking about so combat testing ground so today we're excited to announce the official soft launch of our combat testing grounds where you can get a backstage look at our in progress combat feature provide valuable testing and feedback all while battling a pack of bulbs check out your uh, or check out additional details below so let's check out these details so what is pre-alpha well releasing pre-alpha provides our players with the opportunity to contribute to testing on upcoming features but also gives us feedback and guidance on what those final features could be players who engage with the pre-alpha are acting as testers for various aspects of the game to help our deve developers make sure that the final product is as strong as it can be because this is pre-alpha we expect that you will run into various bugs and issues that mean gameplay isn't as smooth as it should be but this is good because you know this gives us feedback so what is not pre-alpha so if you're reading the above you know that pre-alpha is not inclusive of all the in-game features pre-alpha can change can and will change depending on what needs to be tested at the time or the test results collected from previous features in addition to game fate functionality design features and artwork might not be up to d5 kingdom standards that you have come to expect so the combat testing ground the combat testing ground serve as a pre-alpha combat testing for DeFi kingdoms we hope this will be a fun experience for those who choose to participate but ask that you keep in mind that this is primarily a space for testing so not all features will be available at once and features will change often with regular updates everything in pre-alpha is subject to change at any time so be aware this is not you know the final final game this is just pre-alpha guys this is just what the team is giving us a taste of but it can change at any time and that's good because we want to see 
what the team has developed. And this also gives investors who've been asking, like, when is PVE coming out? This gives them something to shut up about. Because a lot of people just don't understand. Like, you play Call of Duty. If you play in all these, like, GTA, you play uh, Madden, uh, any game out there that's like that, that's on a console, you got to understand, guys, these games really take years to develop, but the developers and the people over these camps are just giving you the final product. They might still and will have bugs in them, but they are developing so long that they give us the final product, but they don't show you all of the things that they're going through to get to that final stage. Well, with crypto gaming, especially with DeFi Kinos, we are literally showing or being shown what it takes and the build up to the final game so what to expect from pre-alpha comeback experience so implementation of the first three comeback classes archer knight and priest you got the placeholder and hero and ability animations you got desktop only experience and you got cutting edge bulb ai what not to expect yet so we will not expect finalized animations, icons, user interface, or slash and overall user experience, status effects working on as expected, stun day, silence, etc. Then we got the sound effects and mobile support. So mobile support is not available yet. So how to access the combat testing grounds? Well, you will need the power up, the backstage pass power up, and it does cost. 50 c slash s jewel so you gotta have the s jewel very very important you gotta have at least 50 s jewel to do the test so this is just pretty much showing us how to get to it but let me just do a live you know tutorial of how to get to it so i'm all around this page but you can click the menu to the side and you can go down to combat testing so uh, it does require you to sign in i already signed in and it does also require you to activate the backstage pass now i don't have uh the c jewel locked up so let me lock up some more uh c jewel and then we can get started so with the c jewel you want to pretty much go to the jeweler i'm pretty sure you guys already kind of know this but for those who don't know this you want to go to the jeweler uh go to power up you want to manage your power ups and just see how much c jewel you already got so right now i got 8.3 c jewel but then we go back we go to the jeweler and then we can see this is the c jewel tab so right now i got a, about 148 jewel or c jewel rather and now i'm going to uh lock up some more jewel to receive c jewel so when we go down it's gonna show the extend slash deposit and once we go down we're going to just simply deposit some more so let me see so that 120 jewel gives me about 35 c jewel so i gotta get some more jewel man i'm gonna get some more jewel i gotta get at least like 15 more jewel to be able to participate in it or c jewel rather to participate so i'm gonna deposit that and go and buy some jewel from the marketplace so i just got some jewel from the marketplace and i'm gonna deposit some more jewel to get c jewel so we're gonna deposit an additional jewel so i got 139 we know 120 gives us 35 so i'm just gonna you know do another 35 c jewel so now that I got enough jewel, we're going to go back to the menu, go to combat testing. And one thing I was saying about also about C jewel early in the video, I believe this is also bullish for jewel just because to test it out, a lot of people been asking, let's get started with PVP. And just to test it out, you have to deposit some C jewel. So even people who haven't been playing the game, who come back into the game who actually want to do the comeback testing they will have to deposit more c or s jewel into the jeweler in order to to play the game so that's very bullish in my personal opinion because it's just locking more jewel and taking that out of circulation and just increasing the scarcity of jewel so now we're going to activate the backstage pass and right now i got 78 c jewel available and i'm just going to use the uh 50 that's actually needed so we go down the backstage pass we go down to activate the power up and now the power up is activated baby now we can get started in the combat testing grounds now you can click on it and see how you want to do it so we already read this on the article that they put out so we're going to continue to the testing grounds now 
uh, me personally, I'm not going to just do anything too major this video right now because I do want to get a feel for it before I just start making a video just uh, blindly and kind of just uh, have a, a better understanding of what's going on. But that's pretty much how you can get to the combat testing, how you lock your S slash C jewel up in the jeweler to activate the back stage pass and get started testing on the PVE combat man so very bullish things going on for defi kingdom i can't wait to make another video to just show you guys what's really occurring in this combat testing and we can go from there so that's my video for today crypto tro make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button stay tuned for the new video coming out for the combat testing i'm gonna make a entire video for that i'm just giving you ins and outs like i said might not have the best alpha but i just want to show you guys what's going on with the combat testing grounds but this video has already been long enough in my personal opinion so i'm gonna stop it right there but make sure you stay tuned man and also check out my defi kingdoms playlist as well crypto tro that's my video for today i'm out of here